channel, I'm Megan Victoria. If you are new, hello, welcome. My name is Megan. I put out two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm a pro hair makeup artist and I just like to have fun with makeup. Kind of like remove the intimidation factor to Instagram makeup. You know, make makeup fun, make it easy, break it down, simple instructions, all that good stuff. But today, I'm going to a friend's birthday party, so I want to do something like super glam, and it's around the holiday time, you know, we got a little holiday vibes happening, um, and I really just wanted to like channel those like holiday sparkly birthday fun times into this look. So this is the look we came up with today. If you want to see how I get this, then please just keep on watching. Alright, so we're going to start off with our <laughs> skin. I just washed my face, and uh, it's really dry as hell right now. So I'm going to start with some eye cream. So this is the Belief eye cream. I love this eye cream feels so nice. Then I'm going to take the Belief um, Moisturizing Balm. So this one is still like quote unquote a thicker cream, but I think it's gentler and softer than the ones I use because I love a good thick heavy cream. So this is actually perfect for like my moisturizer before my makeup. I don't feel like it's too heavy on my skin. So I'm just taking the Hollywood Flawless Filter and applying this to the skin. I have to say this is probably the top three products from my like Charlotte Tilbury haul that I still have been using like non-stop. Um, I really love this stuff. I think it gives the skin just incredible, incredible glow. And yeah, I've just never had a product perform so beautifully for me. So for foundation, I'm going to be mixing the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. So nothing new here. I kind of take like one pump of Charlotte Tilbury and then maybe like half a pump, not even, of the Makeup Forever and then I've just been really liking just applying it with my fingers. Once I've done that, I'm going to just take my sponge and I just like to kind of finish it all off and press it into the skin with the sponge. Next product, you guessed it, Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer. So let's take some of that and apply that to the under eye area. And because we're going out tonight, I really want a full coverage concealer so I'm going in with my ColourPop stuff is kind of like paint but uh works awesome and then we'll blend that in with the sponge all right and then right under the under eyes I'm going in with the pure cosmetics concealer this one is a little bit more yellow so it's got a little bit more pigment to really you know counteract those dark circles but also brighten the under eyes sometimes I find if the concealer is too light it kind of still looks gray so like using the orange and then putting that like golden kind of color on top really just like brings life to the under eyes and of course the tiniest bit of it cosmetics concealer I really need a new one um, and we'll pop that again right under the under eyes I love this concealer because it is just so brightening it really bounces back the light so you get like a really bright fresh under eye area I feel very well highlighted so now we're gonna set everything with our Charlotte Tilbury magic powder um, it's kind of nice that I can do this video because I can talk to you guys like we did a first impression so I can actually let you know like what I'm actually using and you know it's been a couple weeks the magic powder I love it just makes the skin look so glowy and like luminous it just doesn't like mattify it make it look like cakey and gross it just like really makes the skin look really really beautiful it's kind of it does stink like don't get me wrong but like once it's on your face you don't smell it it's like right now I'm like oh that's a weird smell but I've actually kind of gotten used to it but you really just need like the tiniest bit like I feel like this powder is gonna last forever it just like really sets the makeup and then doesn't take away the glow of the look so I just kind of do the side of the face and then we just kind of like stamp around the outside. Gorgeous. Loving how the skin looks. Beautiful. So a new product I've been loving is the Pure Bronzer. So we're going to take this guy and chisel out the cheeks. And then we'll bring it around the forehead. That was like hairline forehead. Foreline. Now that we kind of have that like dark color on, I'm going to go in with the Hoola bronzer just because it's such, you know, it's like an OG. And we'll just take that on a bigger brush and kind of use that to blend in kind of this really darker bronzer. Now whatever is kind of left over on your foundation sponge, I kind of just like to stamp. So you can bake at this time, but I just don't like the excess powder on my skin. So I'd rather just use the like extra product I have and just kind of clean up the line. Because we do want that drama look. <laughs> For the blush, I'm going to go into my Pixi palette. I know no one's surprised, but I'm going to just take the pinky shade. Usually we take more peach, but we're going to go pink and keep it really like soft and pretty and like winter-esque. 
Look at that freaking luminescence. This blush is just stunning. Kind of like that flushed winter vibe. I'm just like not over the glow though. Like that's so freaking beautiful. Like stop. For highlighter, this is literally the most extra thing ever, I know, but it's so pretty. So it's like I have it, so I'm going to use it. Um, watch this. So this is from Lancome, and it is a rose. It's so pretty, but it's also a highlighter. So as much as I just want to stare at it and not use it, I also really want to use it. Um, so we're just going to grab a little bit of that and apply that to the cheekbones. Oh my god, yes. I just feels so freaking bougie right now. We have like a golden highlighter with like the pinky cheeks and the bronze. Like it all oh, just kind of like basically it turns into rose gold vibes. What else is new? Um, I've been enjoying contouring my nose, which is weird, but I like it. So we're going to do a teeny little bit of that today. I don't really have a good brush for it, so we're just going to use this guy. But um, actually this brush is not even a bad idea because it is so like straight. Dab it off. I like that. And I'll just dab to like make sure it, you know, looks cute still. Well, I believe this is our face makeup done. I'm gonna do my brows and then we'll zoom in onto the eyes. Alright, so let us get started on the eyes. So I'm just gonna take, my eyes are probably already primed, but we'll just take a little bit more because I do want like, you know, a decently like pigmented look today. So let's take that and rub that in. No, with that broke, I'll cry. I was doing yoga earlier and so the palette fell onto the yoga mat so we won that one good job team so i have this like buxom eyeshadow palette i've had it for a while but it's like really really pretty colors so we're gonna take this shade right here so that is uh how does this work it's called spoiled sexy <laughs> and we'll grab a little bit of that just to like give it a little bit more of that purpley berry tone all right, and then we have this pure love yourself -y three palette. I'm just trying to play with all my new things. And we're going to grab the shade Adventurous. So it's kind of like a plummy shade just to really deepen up this transition. I'm also going to change to a smaller brush so I can get a little bit more of a precise placement. And we'll apply that directly to the crease, not trying to like, you know, bring it so far up. And take your big blending brush and just smooth that out. We're gonna go into the shade Tycoon, this really beautiful chocolate brown shade, and we'll grab a little bit of that with, I think just like literally like the same big brush, just cause I wanted like a general wash of chocolate over all of this like berryness. Just to like warm it up. Then what we're gonna do is go back in with the Tycoon shade on a small brush, and I wanna really just deepen up this crease. So I'm really going to push that right in the socket and just rock it back and forth. Just take that nice big blend, blending brush and give it a soft blend. Okay, so we need to add like a nice pop of like brow bone shimmer highlight. So we're going to go actually into our electric or our elements palette, which I'm really excited to be using this. But I am going to just grab this like white shade and it has a little bit of like a bluey kind of sparkly shift to it. And it's just going to be so sparkly and gorgeous. Yeah, see how it has that like little bit of like a purple shift? Just want to apply that underneath the brow bone for that really like icy iridescence. I actually love like the really warm highlight with like the really like cool toned highlight on the brow bone. Like it's so pretty. And since we're here, we'll just take a little bit of that and just apply it to our inner corner. Yeah, now we're getting those holiday vibes. So for the lid, I want to get something a little bit more brownie coppery. So we're going to take this shade right here and I'm just going to take it with my finger and I'm going to apply this just on the outer part. All right, and then once you have that coppery shade, we're going to go into this shade called Electric Air. It's like a gorgeous, like purpley, silvery shade. And I just, this is like why I wanted to do this look. And I'm gonna apply it just to the inner portion of the lid. It's like this like purpley kind of silvery shimmer. All right, so then we're gonna go back into the Elements palette and I'm gonna take the shade Moon Rock. So it's this really, really pretty kind of penny copper color. And we'll just take that and apply that to the center of the eyelid. And it has like a really cool iridescence that actually like really blends with the purple really well. Just take a brush and I'm going to just take a little bit more of that purple, so that electric air shade, and just work it to blend with the copper. 
We'll go back in with uh, CEO, which is that shade we used from the Visionary palette, and we're just going to brighten that outer corner by applying another layer and then patting it in to the center to blend with the other copper shade. So we'll just take that blending brush and we'll grab the shade Tycoon again. And I'm just going to kind of clean up the crease because sometimes the shimmer can like transfer up and we want that nice grady, like that differentiation between like mattes and shimmers. I can't help but be extra, so we're gonna add some glitter to this look. I just, I have to. So I have this really beautiful hard candy pressed glitter palette. And I think I'm going to add, actually I was gonna add this guy, but almost like these two would be so pretty. Yeah, so we're gonna add a little bit of that like coppery shade to the center of the lid. Add a little bit of that like plummy shade to the outer corner. And I'm just gonna tap this on lightly so that the eyeshadow underneath can still kind of like peek through and like, you know, has a purpose. Just like really soft, just like a little touch of glitter just so it kind of catches the light and looks really beautiful. I literally have no idea what I'm doing when I start a look. <laughs> I have no clue. All right, and then we'll grab a little bit of this plummy glitter because it's so pretty. It's like a plummy dark like espresso brown and we'll apply that on the outer corner. I'm going to build up the outer corner glitter just a little bit more just to give us that like smoky look because it'll blend with our liner when we do that anyway so we'll soften the whole look. I'm going to just add a tiny bit of like the light gold just because I want to soften like I just want to lighten up the copper a little bit. And this will also give it a multi-dimensional look, so I ain't even mad at it. I feel like because the inner corner has no glitter, it's like, it's missing. So, <laughs> we're gonna go into this palette and grab this glitter. So, this is called Dramatic. And as you can see, it's like a pink glitter. So, I think it's gonna be so pretty. And it's gonna, like, just pick up the reflex of that purple that we laid down underneath. No, stop. That's so pretty. That is, like, hi, I'm ready to party. And we're just gonna let it kind of fall near the under eye area that glitter is so pretty i'm getting glitter all over the place but i'm not i don't care it's fine oh that glitter is like hi i'm ready to party times a million okay so i love that's kind of like pinky underneath so i think we're gonna like pick up i think we're gonna like roll with that so what i'm gonna do is take i need like a little pencil brush or something and then in the Visionary palette, there is a really pretty, yeah, like this kind of shade. So this is called Rebel. So it's a nice kind of ready shade. And we're going to apply that underneath the eyes. And then just to tie it all together, I'm going to just like touch that Rebel shade. And I'm just going to apply that so softly in the crease. It's just going to warm it up like the tiniest bit to match the lower lash line. And it'll just give it a more cohesive look. And then on top of that um, Rebel shade, we're going to grab a little bit of this Lioness shade because it's like, again, that purple shimmer. And apply that just right on top of there. Okay, so I want to keep this very, like, lashy. So I'm going to do the tiniest liner. I'm going to throw on my lashes, and I'll be right back, and we'll finish off. All right, so these are the eyes. Um, I feel like a party girl. This is not the vibe, but you know, we're going with it and I kind of like it, so we good. All right, so for lips, I want to do something just kind of like, kind of the same as the eyes, like that purpley mauve kind of tone. So we're gonna take our 602 lip liner as always and fill in our lips. We interrupt this programming to bring more lip balm. My lips are honestly like about to break, which is really unfortunate. So we're gonna let that soak in, but in the meantime, a good little thing that we can fill our time with, since our lashes are now dry, we're gonna go in and just kind of clean up the lash band. Sometimes like, you know, glue and just non-proper placement can let things not look so nice. So just to kind of clean it up, just run the liner across the lashes. All right, so then I'm gonna use the shade Boss from Bare Minerals. It's just like a little lip paint. Very much reminds me of like the uh, lip lingerie from NYX, like that same formula. All right, I think that's like a really pretty base, but I want a little bit more like pop in the center. So I'm going to take the shade Anti Venom from Sigma and just apply that in the center. And then I'm just using my finger to blend it. 
and then i really love this gloss so this is the grande lips gloss i think this one's an apricot and it's like really like plumping and has that like minty feel and we'll just apply a little of that to blend it all together and then to finish everything off a little tiny bit more powder just more on the forehead more because of the lights than anything but uh just tidy that up and try and like sweep as much glitter away as possible but you're also just gonna be stuck with it forever so might as well just accept it this completes our holiday glam look Alright guys, so there we have it. I really hope you enjoyed. I I can't say I had like a ton of fun creating this look. It was kind of like really difficult, but I like the way it turned out. It was not the vibe I was going for. It's not what I intended, but you know, it's like art. You just gotta like ride the wave. It's like life. I'm learning that lesson very much this week. It's been the theme. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!